Did you hear? Uh, hear what? President Kermit, he was killed. He was killed? Oh my gosh, how? The president, the evil master, the dinosaur Rex, he tried to use his evil invention on him and, well, it ended in, it ended up in some lab failure and now he's dead. Oh my gosh, that's harsh. Well, I guess we'll never see Kermit the Frog anymore. I mean, I didn't vote for him, so I don't really care, you know? Yeah, I didn't either. He didn't seem like the most convincing person ever. <coughs> <coughs> Whoa, who are you? I didn't. I haven't seen that inmate around. Shut up! I'm Dinosaurus Rex. <coughs> you think you're Dinosaurus Rex? <coughs> no, 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 that can't be true. I think you turned off. Oh, yeah, 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 you're right, you're right. Anywho, you're not Dinosaurus Rex. Dinosaurus Rex was a dinosaur. You're just a, you're a phone with some eyes on it. No, you foolish mortal. I, I'm getting closer to my true form. All right, is, is there anything wrong here, uh, President? What? I thought you were dead. Yeah, but it turns out I'm alive. <laughs> Whatever. So, how did Kermit die? Lab accident. <coughs> oh, wait one second, Mr. President. I'm coming. Man, I can't believe it. Kermit the Frog is dead. I mean, it's kind of hard to believe, right? Yeah, 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 sure, sure. Hey, guys. Kermit the Frog is... Is that you? Yeah. Okay. The, the dinosaur Rex's machine did work. Well, sort of. I'm now a robot. You're a robot now? Yes, and he's planning on turning you all into robots. If you don't get the heck out of here, you might get caught. Don't move, buddy. Uh, Mr. Soldier Guy is not... You're not Mr. Soldier Guy? Yeah. Although I... I was. You were? Yeah, but we'll get into that later. Now, come with me and I'll escort you to the cells. Wait, but I thought you didn't. You aren't dinosaur. So did I. Yeah, but I, in a way, I do work for the president. Oh, dang it. Follow me. Follow me. Come on. Don't move. Wow. Harsh. Stay in the cell for a few, maybe 15 minutes. Dinosaur Rex will see you soon. I'll stand by. Okay, but what's going on here? I'm confused. Come with the frog, is that you? Oh, Mr. oh, there you are, Mr. Soldier Guy. How did you get into this? So you just lay yourself into the cell? No, I was escorted by that man right there. Oh, what's man? Oh! <laughs> <coughs> Be a man and take out your gun. My gun is out. <sighs> My gosh. Listen to me. Where did this guy come from? Oh, he just walked up to me. You just walked up to him, didn't you? Listen, I wasn't. I didn't. I didn't come here to start a fight. I came here to help you out, and so you can leave me and my family alone. Oh, the frog, I think you should step out for this. I kind of can. This is a prison cell. Forget about it. I'm, I'm, well, this scene is very edgy and dramatic, so I'm just going to go ahead and be over here and watch, I guess. What's going on in here? Is that you, Mr. Soldier Guy? He's not Mr. Soldier Guy. I am. No. Tell him. Tell him I'm Mr. Soldier Guy. Uh, you both look like Mr. Soldier Guy to me. Shut up, Kermit. They're both Mr. Soldier Guy. At least they, at least one of them was Mr. Soldier Guy. What do you mean one of them was Mr. Soldier Guy? That doesn't make sense. Go ahead. Go ahead and tell them the story, Dinosaurus Rex. 
I'd rather not. How about you tell the story? I would appreciate it if you step it up, step out, Mr. Dinosaur Rex. Oh, no problem. <laughs> and I want you back on headquarters once we're done here. Whatever. So, what happened between you guys? So, and who is the real Mr. Soldier Guy? I am. No, I am. We both kind of are. Or at least he was. The story begins many, many years ago. I was a poor and hungry traveler who spent most of his days wondering what it'd like to be wealthy. Until I was met, until I was, until I met a magnet. The magnet said that he dreamed great dreams of making the world better place and amazing and more technologically advanced and I listened to what he said all the time. He told me about a great future with robots only. Which kind of seemed a little bit weird at first, but you know, I listened to him. I promised to be his best friend forever and we continued to walk along. He told me that one day he'd reach his greatest form, more powerful than anything that ever existed. As time went on, he grew stronger and better, more advanced. And the power got to his head till one day another soldier and I appeared. And I will always remember the horrible words that he said that day. This is your new friend. You better be friends, because if you aren't friends, then I'll kill you both and find the new henchman. I instantly grew to hate this man. And one day, when we were locked inside of his office with some permanent green dye, we got into a huge fight. <clears throat> Foolish man! You think you can steal my spot, do you? No, no, I want to be friends, you see? I just want to be friends. No, you don't! We continued our battle for about an hour. Until finally, he kicked me into the air. And I landed straight into the permanent green dye. <clears throat> no! <clears throat> no! How could this happen to me? <clears throat> <clears throat> when Dinosaur Rex came back in, he was shocked at what he saw. And he felt like putting the other man to death. But instead, he made him his new henchman. But didn't pay him. He wa They weren't friends. They weren't anything. They just hated each other. And as time went on, I was forgotten in that putty, in that mud, in that dye. And as time went on, I, I had trouble getting out because of the slipperiness and the, the glue of the paint. And eventually, the paint dry over me. Finally, I was able to climb myself out of there, and I was sw and I swore to kill Soldier Guy, or at least the second one. So I left. When when Dinosaur Rex found out that I was missing from the party, he was beyond terrified. And he ordered his new henchmen to go and find me. And he failed. And he failed and he failed and he could and he could never find me. Eventually I did return back to the base. Just to wipe the green dye on the man's rug. Wait, stop right there! You were gonna you were gonna wipe this dye on the man's rug? How dare you interrupt our story! Today, we finish our fight. Uh, are you still mad about me interrupting your story? Shut up and stand back, okay? Today, we finish our fight. I hope you're ready for this. Foolish! Foolish mortals! You will end this battle now. I can't. I have to finish this! He's used to... 
My job. You stole everything. Fool. Listen, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to throw you into that guy. I... I'm sorry. It's too late for apologies, isn't it? You've been... You've been wanting to... You've been wanting to kill me. It was never time for apologies. Because you wouldn't accept apologies. You're right. I wouldn't have. I hope you're ready to die. I said stop it, fools! Stand back, I said, or I will shoot. Uh, everyone, end this now! Oh, why, if it isn't, who are you? I am the chosen one. Chosen one? Well, if it isn't the chosen one, you! Get out of here! You're gonna get yourself killed! I'm here to put an end to this. Oh my gosh, I actually did that? No. You're growing strong. Wait a minute, so you actually are the chosen one? Yes, that's what I've been trying to tell you ever since your vacation. But no, you wouldn't listen to me. No! I'm out of here. And I'm taking you with me. No, no, stand, get off of me. Stay right there. You, back off. Trying to end the fight here. Please, you don't have to shoot me. Yes, I do. <sighs> you fools, do what you have to and end it all. Please, you don't have to fight, not right now. <sighs> I hope you're ready to die, fool. I'll miss this world. Goodbye. No, you killed him! You killed him! Oh my... Eh, whatever. Are you happy now? You have done what you have wanted to do for the past 16 years. Are you happy? And you, Kermit the Frog. I can see my machine did work after all. Good. Now report to your cell immediately. Oh yeah? How are you going to make me? Okay, I'll go to my soul now. And you. No! You're not using that trick again. New no, Mr. Soldier Guy. Strap him down immediately. Will do, sir. No, trust me. You'll regret this. No. I haven't regret. I don't regret a thing, and I don't think I ever will. Take him to his cell. We'll have our meeting tomorrow. No, you're making bad choices here. Bad choices. <laughs> bad things are coming.